Well, when I first came here, I thought it was really big. And like I even had to use a map to try and find my way around. And I think I'm still using it today, like just to check and make sure I know where I'm going. Michaeli Chalmers, a Maui High sophomore, has had her fair share of campuses. But after seven schools and five states, something about Hawaii still stands out. It's nice to be outdoors and get some fresh air. A majority of Hawaii's public school campuses feature open, non-centralized buildings. However, Charles Kanishiro, the president of an international architecture firm based in Honolulu, sees a storm brewing over the designs of new Hawaii school campuses. The majority of our schools in Hawaii are, are older, um, so they're designed to standards that existed 50 years ago. The more current schools um, are being designed with school safety in mind, um, and obviously that's because of you know, Columbine or more recently Sandy Hook. I don't think anybody 20 years ago would have even imagined you know, something like that happening in a, in a public school. I mean, we send our kids to go to school to, to learn, not to be killed. Hawaii's older schools are excluded from an easily securable campus due to the layout of multiple buildings and open campuses, although students compacted into one building may feel entrapped. There's all this fear now that I might send my son or daughter to school and they may not come home. Uh, and so there's, a, so there's a tendency to want the schools to become a prison. Some are concerned by how too many safety precautions could impact students. Toby Neal, a licensed clinical social worker at Maui Center for Child Development, suspects that fear-driven architecture may detach children from their roots. If there was bars displayed, metal detectors that they have to go through, there's this constant unsettled feeling. All of that creates a culture of anxiety and um, hypervigilance, which when you're in a hypervigilant state, which is watching out for danger, you can, it's very hard to learn. Architects like Connie Shiro are attempting to lock crime out without locking students in. I think architects are, are doing is, is recognizing that in order to balance the two, a, a good learning environment and a safe area is uh, by having what we call zones of uh, supervision. So instead of less glass, there's actually more glass. Connie Shiro's Group 70 International hid safety precautions in plain sight when designing Hawaii's newest public school in Wailuku, Maui. Pu'u Kakui Elementary School features large hurricane windows, open areas within immediate distance of protected spaces, chain link gates to control access, a campus-wide alert system, and staff distributed so that every corner of campus is under adult supervision at all times. It's not designing a completely um, tragic proof school, you can't do that, and that, that would be a prison. According to Connie Shiro, it's ultimately about balancing security with nurturing learning environments so students can focus on their work and not have to worry about their well-being. This is Sydney Dempsey from Maui High School for Hiki No.